Hey, what is going on everyone? It's Springfield and I got a new gameplay for you guys today. We're playing some Momentum on Solar. If you guys missed our last video, be sure to click the link on the screen now if you want to check that out. This is a really high kill game by me. Also playing some Momentum, I think I get like 63 kills or something or like 19 deaths. So definitely check that out. If you guys want to go look at that and then come back, it's cool. I'll wait. Go ahead. It's alright. It's cool. Alright. Alright, you back yet? Alright, let's get into this video. Another thing you guys might want to check out before we really get too deep into this video is our big news video that uh, Nosferatu just posted. So if you guys want to click on the link again, that'll take you over to his video called Big News. It's got some really great content for you guys. And uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit special for you guys for a while. So definitely you can click on that. And uh, yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Alright, so what I want to talk about today doesn't really relate to Advanced Warfare, it's actually about Black Ops 3. So what one of those things is, is it's not really a major thing, but it's kind of cool I guess, is in Black Ops 3 you can actually see your legs now. Yes guys, I'm talking about your legs. This is, this is the most exciting news we've had yet. Alright, so you actually get to see what your legs per look like. So if you're a big leg person, this is just like really exciting for you. If you just want to look down and stare at your guys' legs the whole match, I mean you can do that now. In every other game, you haven't been able to do that, but now you can, guys. So this is just, this is groundbreaking news. So if you want to run around, look at the ground, and see your legs, you can do that now. I don't know why they decided to do this, but <laughs> they decided to. I guess uh, it's so that they give it a little bit more of a real aspect to it. I don't know. It also uh, relates to shadows now, so you can actually see your own shadow. Like in this game and some of the other games, you haven't been able to see your own shadow, even though it still pops up. So you'll be able to be aware of whether or not you're showing up on the enemy screen or not. So that's pretty cool. The next thing that has me really excited about Black Ops 3 too is also the class system. So in Black Ops 3 it's actually going to be a pick 10 system again. But it doesn't really work like a pick 10 system. So what I mean by that is in Black Ops 3 they give you your normal things. Like they give you your gun, you can have a sidearm. You can have like a bunch of other things, you get your attachments and stuff of course, but the only things that play into your actual points are like your guns and then uh, your perks. So your attachments, which you can now have five of without it costing anything, so every gun you can have five attachments as long as it's a primary. And then your secondary you get two attachments, so that's pretty sweet. So actually in total you have three attachments for your sidearm because they don't count optics as part of the attachments I guess. So. That's kind of cool. So you actually have three and then on assault rifles you have six. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and then the next thing is score streaks also aren't involved in... Alright, so score streaks also aren't involved in your uh, point system. It's actually just given to you. So that's pretty sweet too. Because I know Advanced Warfare, a lot of guys didn't run score streaks like myself. So that we could just load up on perks and stuff. Um, so we were just more of like a super soldier on the ground instead of worrying about what we're earning. So... That's going to be kind of cool. You can actually earn those kill streaks now and have all the perks and things you want. So that's definitely really cool. I'm excited about that. The next thing Black Ops 3 related, I know we have a lot of Black Ops 3 information for you guys to take in today all at once. It's going to be kind of brain straining, but I think you guys can handle it because you're part of Springfield Nation. I know you guys are up to the level of this, so just hang in there. It's all right. I know it hurts now, but you'll be better later, all right? So... The next thing I want to talk about with you guys is the beta. So actually if you pre-order Black Ops 3, which I'm sure a lot of you guys already know because you're Call of Duty players, we know if you can get the game early or not. So if you pre-order Black Ops 3, you can actually get access to the beta, which is kind of cool. This is one of the first times they've done that since World at War, so hopefully they'll be able to have a lot of improvements before the game actually comes out, so we're not dealing with like a lot of lag and glitches when the games first come out, so that's kind of cool. You can definitely get your hands on that early, check it out, see if you like the game or not. Because I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to play this game before. I know where if I like it or not. Well, not play it, buy it. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot today. <laughs> you don't want to... Alright, so that's all I got for you guys, Black Ops 3 related. So let's just talk about this gameplay. So in this gameplay, we're actually using the Obsidian Steed, my normal perks I talked about. In the... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's Nosferatu in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, just ignore him, he's an idiot. But anyways, we're just using the same perks as last time. Um, class setup's a little bit different, I'm not using the extend mags, I'm using the, I'm using the foregrip instead of the extend mags, so that's the only thing that's different gun related. I don't know really why I decided to do that, I just threw it on, I guess I wasn't landing as many shots as I liked, I don't know. 
I'm weird. I change my class a lot. Don't judge me. Alright, so I have another high killed game for you guys. I'm not going to ruin it for you and tell you what I go. All I'm going to say is it's a lot to a little. Kills to death wise, not deaths to kills wise. I don't know. I don't know. What, Dave, what should I say about this? Alright, so that's Dave's thoughts on what I should say. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to build up the suspense and not tell you guys what I went. So you'll definitely have to stay to the end and check that out. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you smack that like button. That always helps us out. Like I said, it's a little bit more enthusiastic than just, I'm going to press it. So smack that like button. And the comment of the day, I want you guys to comment whether or not you like Nikes or Jordans. Now, I know this is a big decision for you. You're probably going to have to think about it for a while, but leave that down below. It's an interesting topic. A lot of people have different opinions on this. Um, I think it's going to be fairly one-sided. I'm not going to tell you which side I think is going to win. But just comment <laughs> yours, yours down below. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. We love you guys. And, uh, yeah, later. Not good enough. Run it back. <laughs>